everybody and welcome to my channel say la vie dawn yes i know it's been a while but as you know uh my recording time project time everything is limited we'll see how far i get in today's haul because i was just about ready told the kids i was doing this and my mom called and my parents are retired so they are bored and she wanted to chat and my time's limited so i do have an aliexpress haul uh some of the stuff is from orders before Christmas. Uh, so I was starting to get regular stuff coming in just before the whole Wuhan stuff and then everything kind of just stopped and now it's slowly trickling in again. Probably now that they're up and running. So I'm just going to show you everything. It's so random and I was watching West Coast Crafty Babe the other night and she was kind of the same. She's like, I have so much stuff. I'm just going to show you. Uh, I always wait to, same with her, you always wait to categorize things and stamp it out, cut it out. And it's getting to the point because I have my entire family here 24-7, I am not getting the time to do that. So my dresser Wherever I put my alley things coming in, I just stick them in a corner of my dresser in the top and it's getting full and I want to get this stuff put away. I do have some projects I want to do with some of it. So yeah, it's just time to show you guys. If you want to see anything cut out, I will. I will try my best to link things. Uh, some stuff might not be available, but if I will release the video probably before I get all the links on there because that's typically what I do. If there is something you see and you want a link for it, just please leave me a message and I will happily do that for you. That's actually a lot easier. Okay, I'm going to jump right in. Uh, we'll see how the length of the video goes depending on my kiddos. I've locked the door, I'm in my bedroom. I was gonna go out to the trailer, but it's freezing. We had a gorgeous weekend and then all of a sudden it's cold again. So anyways, I ordered these, uh, these fabric leaves. Uh, sorry for any crinkling. Again, I don't pre-open anything until I can put it away in its proper place. But I'll take out, I ordered a pack of gold. And I can't remember if there are 50. It doesn't look like 100. Probably 50. Sorry about the glare. But there is the silver. And of course, I didn't bring a ruler in here with me. If you want measurements, please leave me. Of course, I didn't bring a ruler in here. Anyway, but if you want measurements just ask ask whatever you want i will certainly help you um but yeah these are very nice they're they're fabric they are gorgeous so i ordered a pack in the silver i can't wait to play with these and that's the thing i i'm one of those people i just like i can't use it until i show them and then the gold so yeah uh can't wait so i gotta get those put away Again, everything is so random. My brain, even when I order, orders randomly. It's really weird. Uh, I ordered these vintage lady stickers. And I have other stickers that I've ordered. Uh, they haven't come yet. And I love this one. Drinking her tea. That'd be a cute, like, tea theme project. Anyway, this whole, I'm not going to, it'll take me forever to show you. But there's just, they're all kinds. Vintage ladies all kinds of them so yeah I saw some other ladies haul them and I just thought they'd be really nice to have for projects so yeah and these weren't overly expensive at all I find the stickers are cheaper than the cardstock die cut and I can just trim around put it on cardstock and do it myself okay I did order some wood beads the dollar stores had been again i have not been to a dollar store before all of this so i don't know what's there now I, I see some of you are starting to go and do hauls that's awesome um first of all i don't live in the city so i'm not close to one and when i go i only go to the grocery store right now or if we need to go to the drugstore um but that's it so i haven't been um yeah, it's different for us. I just do one trip. I get all the groceries and I'm talking. I have four boys. Just doing that every two weeks right now is just, it's too much with all the restrictions and having to be careful. And I'm, I've found a few times people get in my space and I don't like it. 
our area is doing well. Ontario is starting to flatten the curve. We're not out of the woods yet. And in London, there are more cases than the rural communities. So I just, I have to pick up some chicks in a couple of weeks in um, Exeter when they come in. I might, we'll see what the government's, since I know they're open, but what the government's saying and I might pop in. There are a few things that I'm to the point I need versus I want. The I wants have to wait. So yeah. Anyway, I did order these beads. These were before Christmas and I believe these are the 10 mil. I think these are the 10. I ordered 12 as well. I don't think they're here yet, but I believe these are the 10. Um, when I link them, you'll know. But yeah, they are in uh, these mostly pastel colors except for this blue. This blue is not, but the rest are these beautiful pastel. And I can't remember, I didn't count. I believe this was a 50 piece. I had some projects I wanted to do with those. So I got those. And then I just got some clear wood ones. And this was a hundred pack, same size. Oh, sorry, these are see, these are the painted already. And then just some wood, natural wood, not clear, sorry. Natural wood and the hundred, same size. And then as you all know, when uh, last time I met up with Sheila and Tina and we went to Colasanti's, Sheila had gotten all of us girls... Uh, they're called mermaid bracelets and this is a name like the company that came up with them and I was like they are so cool I wonder if you could just get the beads on Allie to do projects with like tassels charms things like that yeah I burnt myself a few weeks ago <laughs> it's just healing um so I went on Allie right after that and this was just before the whole COVID when Allie had stopped shipping and everything and these did make it so I just came in Couple weeks ago but they come on a strand they're bigger than the name brand one I just got they you could get sorry okay I'll slow down I've had two coffees and I'm working on a chai tea now that's how I keep myself going and during the days right now you could get these individual colors but I just wanted a random strand and they come in a strand to see what the colors looked like and what projects I would make with them before I ordered more. So as you can see, the bracelet Sheila got us. I mean, the, the mermaid beads are all, a lot better clear. What's the word? Like a clear quality. But for crafting and the price that these were compared to what this is, uh, yeah, uh, this is for crafting, not to, you know, I mean, you could, I was thinking if I liked some of the colors, I could, um, order individual and I could make, you know, my nieces and stuff, bracelets and stuff like that out of these, but, uh, anyway, I'm babbly, but yeah, for projects, I love this mermaid. I'd never heard of it until Sheila had gotten us this. So yeah, so I got this strand just to take apart and play with and see what I thought of it. That's what I was going to say. The beads are definitely bigger than, uh. The, the bracelet size Sheila see they're definitely which is perfect for charms and crafting and things like that so for a bracelet I think I'd still want the smaller size if I was ordering for bracelets but uh, yeah I thought this would be fun for crafting so I really liked that so I got that oh and while I'm showing you stuff I had done so good I'm like I'm since I'm on COVID I'm not I'm gonna use my stuff I'm not gonna spend any money and I have done good for where are we are we in six weeks then the other night I was on alley oh you guys it's such a rabbit hole I shouldn't have even went on there I bought some more stuff but I didn't still spend oh probably maybe just over 50 bucks I can't remember one thing I did get was like 10 bucks and that kind of pushed me over but everything else was fairly inexpensive okay I got these cabochon clocks and I believe you get one yeah they're 10 pieces and I'm just going to show you so they're just different clocks for projects and everything. And then after I ordered these, it was kind of, this was a before Christmas order and then everything, they took forever to get here and I forgot to order this stuff, the bottle caps and stuff I wanted to put them in, but that's okay. I'll still use these for projects and everything and, and then get the, the, the stuff I want to put them in. 
Okay, these charms finally came in. These almost came to a dispute, which I've had to dispute five or six things this past week. That kind of bummed me out, but a lot of it was my son's stuff. But anyway, these are 12 or 14 pieces of um, C-type charms. So I really, really like these and... I believe my inspiration for getting these was Scrap Diva 29. She had ordered these a while ago. And for all C-themed projects, I, I had to grab them. So I know I'm not overhead. It's so hard to film over. Uh, well, I can't film overhead right now because hubby is down in the, the, my craft space. So anyway, yeah, I got those. There's conch. There's um, oyster shells, starfish or sea stars, however you like to say that. Why I say that is because... I used to say starfish all the time, and I have a friend who <laughs> likes to say sea star. And so I'm like, okay, I better say, she says it's proper to say a sea star, and I, we still say st starfish, so I don't know. I say both now. Anyway, um, yeah, it doesn't, yeah, I ordered this October 25th, 2019 is when they shipped that out, and it just came. <laughs> so, that, yeah, things are behind. Okay, you're going to laugh. Back. Well, how old's my oldest? So my oldest, yeah. Back in the scrapbooking days, so we're talking 15 years. I, 15, 14 years ago, I had bought at Costco the whole Fiskars scissor set. Remember in the, I'm sure some of you still have it. It was in wood, the scissors sat in. So I used them back when, you know, that was really big before, because uh, I used to be a big creative memory scrapbook person and you know you had to cut your photos with the well these were big then and I was using them and then I just stopped using them I wasn't using them the kids had kind of gotten through their phase of using them I got rid of them and I can't remember if I gave them to a friend or if I sold them or I donated them I don't know but I got rid of them because you know with Cricut and the die cut machines I wasn't having a use for them well then I am, again, there are a few pairs that I have um, picked up at thrift stores, but the postage stamp one, this one, I have not been able to find. So I just, I didn't want to order the whole Fiskars pack because I don't use all those scissors, hence why I got rid of them. So I just ordered, and I these were really, like, these were like a buck or something. So I just ordered the two that I wanted to get. So I wanted the postage stamp one, and then I wanted this wave, I can't remember why, I think... There's a reason why I wanted that one. Of course, I can't remember now, but anyway, I got this peacock stencil for a craft room project. So, I mean, I'll use it in other mixed media and stuff like that, but this was for a craft room decor project. So I got that. And, oh, I'm sure, I don't know if all of you watched my alley hauls or not, but back in the fall, I had ordered the nail dipping stuff. And no, I haven't even done it yet because I was waiting to do it with a friend's daughter who was learning how to do it in a... I'm in here doing something. Recording. Sorry. Uh, like a nail dipping. Uh, she had taken it in high school in one of those courses where they learn hair and make uh, aesthetics course or something. So she's like, oh, I've been learning it. I'll help you. And then Christmas and then COVID. So we haven't got together for her to show me how to do it properly. But I realized when I was watching YouTube videos, when I had ordered the powder, I didn't order and I didn't have one of these nail, like they use at the salon to buff things down. So I was watching a lot of videos and a lot of people had good, really good reviews of this from Ali rather than paying like the $30 it was on Amazon. I think this was like 10 bucks. So yeah, so I got that. But again, I haven't, I might play around. Uh, I just don't have a lot of time I don't okay where are we at here okay I'm gonna just show you these last three things and then I'll do another video so I hoard I ordered these corners and they're not the kind if you're making a journal that slide in these are glue on so these could go on you know cards or anything they don't slide in so they are just you can use them on wood or anything like that but they are really pretty and there's Okay, so here's my hand, here's my palm. They are definitely a good size. And I really like, there, 
sorry, it was backwards, the intricate detail on that. So yeah, I got, I don't know, is there 25 in here? I can't remember, but yeah, got that. And then I'm really into rosettes, material rosettes, and I watched a YouTube video and I well, can't think of her name right now. Um, sorry, uh, but she makes all kinds of rosettes from material, you name it, and she uses these fasteners as a center. So she'll she'll glue, um, she'll make a rosette. I don't have one here. She'll make a rosette. Then she'll pop this in the center and then put a bling piece with, um, or a pearl or a rhinestone or a button. But this she surrounds with the bling. So I thought that was really cool. I just ordered a pack of 10 to see how they would work for me. I didn't know the, what I would think, but I really like them. So I got those. And if you're making, you can use them obviously with ribbon and things in projects. They'd be really cute. And okay, the kids know I'm and I also got, I might, if, if they're still quiet and everything, I might just end this one in a second and then do another one just while it's quiet and just have it ready to go. I ordered a random mix of charms. I believe there's 50, but you got all kinds of charms in here. We've got, because I'm really into that right now, so feathers, butterflies, love, all kinds of leaves, which is right up my alley, feathers, <laughs> emoji I don't know that I'm not into emoji. like I use emojis when I talk but I'm not into emoji creating so I'll be making some projects for kids with those anyway yeah a sunburst so I was really happy to get those to come in and they were another one that took forever all right guys I am going to end the video right here just kind of go see if everything I love the little bag. They fit perfect, too. Everything's copacetic with the family, and I might be back recording more of the stuff I got in. All right, I hope you're all doing well, and I will catch you in another video. Take care, guys.